Alright, so like you, I had Virtual Console, I had some of the emulators, I had RetroArch, MAME. Um, I wanted a GUI. I wanted something that looked cool. My buddies had PC, they had Hyperspin, they had all this, you know, uh, Pandora's box interfaces. I wanted something, so I looked it up, found WeFlow, you know, just dove right in. It took me about a month to read everything and figure it out. Um, so this tutorial is just going to show you how to set it up. You know, uh, it initially comes with all of these cores and emulators to play all these different games. I'm not going to go through each one. I'm just going to show you how to set it up, um, how to get the cover art going, and you just basically rinse, wash, and repeat, and go to the next core file. Okay. So for instance, I have Final Burn Alpha. You know, ooh ah, look at that, and it is pretty sweet. I absolutely love it. You know, you get a you get a cover art, you can click on it, you can look at it, launch the game, uh, and then go right back and pick another one, okay? So anyway, uh, enough with what I have, let's dive into how you can get to here, you know, how you can get to where you're able to see the box art, to load up the emulators, uh, or the ROMs for the emulators, and actually play a game, okay? So let's dive right in. All right, so first thing you wanna do is go ahead and download WeFlow. Uh, the latest version that I know of is version 4.2.3. This is a uh, Nintendo Master Mod Pack full, and it does have a ton of stuff, um, which is more than what I'm going to cover in this video. <laughs> but needless to say, it has WeFlow in it and a bunch of other things. Um, so you go ahead and download it. Once you get it downloaded, you'll um, go ahead and extract it so it'll look like this. Um, the first thing that you want to do is take WeFlow, go ahead and copy it and put it under the main folder. Okay, so whatever your main folder is, uh, mine's H, you know, the root basically, uh, the root drive of your SD card. So if you're using a hard drive, do this procedure at your own risk, okay? Okay, <clears throat> so you'll grab the uh, WeFlow folder under the apps and the channel installer. Okay, copy those and get your hard drive out. And go underneath your apps and copy them into there. Okay, and it should take a little second. Okay, now that they've uh, copied in. When you copy it over WeFlow, make sure it's also lowercase WeFlow. All the letters. Yeah, I can't remember what it was, but it was annoying and I figured it out and I made it all lowercase and then it worked. <laughs> just make it lowercase. If you want to figure it out and deal with it, go for it and act yourself out. I'm just trying to save you a little headaches. Anyway, so after you got it renamed lowercase, um, you know, so that's WeFlow. And in the apps folder, you also have the WeFlow and the WeFlow channel installer. Uh, one other thing that you want to get is the wads. Okay, so you go back to your Nintendo folder. <clears throat> you go into the wad folder. Okay, so you want to grab the two that say clouds in them. Okay, um, I forgot what the third one was. I didn't really like it. You guys can grab whichever ones you want, but this is the ones that I grabbed. So you grab those two, bring them over to your wad folder. Uh, hopefully, you have a wad folder. That's where I put all my wads. Um, for my um, wad manager, so I just have them all in the same spot, you know. So that's it. Okay, so you should have the WeFlow folder. You should have your wads in there uh, from the Nintendo. And the WeFlow and Channel Installer apps, under apps, of course, also uh, in your SD card. We're going to eject it and then we're going to go to the Wii. So on this Wii, I already have uh, some emulators installed, Super Nintendo, MAME, Nintendo, Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx, and RetroArch. But we want WeFlow. So 
So let's go to the home room. And go ahead and get the wads installed using uh, you know whatever wad installer you have. You know I use multi mod, you know uh, installer. So let's go multi mod. Let's load it up and load in our mods. Okay, we're gonna go to the wad manager and press A. Okay, and of course you have a folder for wads. Go to wads. Okay, and then there's two different versions that I told you to grab. There's also that third one. You can get the clouds version 14B or version 15. Uh, that's for the virtual Wii. So actually, I don't think you need to copy that. Oops, edit that out of the video. <laughs> All right, so anyway, you hit A to proceed. All right, and then uh, to install, you just push A again, and then installing one of one, done. Okay, press A again to get out and <clears throat> press B to back up, B again, and then the home button to exit out. It'll say exiting. Let's go check it out. Um, home button, exit the system menu. Let's see what it looks like first. See if the WAD manager actually installed it, okay? And there you go, okay? So there's we flow. Okay, so uh, the Wad installed, yay! Okay, so now we we, need, we want to uh, install the WeFlow forwarder. Okay, so go here, load it up. And select the install channels. There you go, quit installer. Okay. Okay, and then home menu, or home button, exit the system menu. Let's see what we got. All right, now we got WeFlow. Okay, it's installed, ready to go, okay? So now your icon should look like this. You should see the little box arts, uh, you know, with a little animation, right, okay? So that's when you know you got it all set, okay? So let's go ahead and start it up and just see what we got for now. Um, by default, you should get, I think, six pages worth of emulators all loaded up. And we're about halfway there. And uh, so this is good. First thing is it's gonna say, welcome to WeFlow. I don't know where your games are at. So you wanna select partition. In this case, it's SD, okay? If you have USB, you select USB. I got SD, so that's what I'm doing, okay? All right, so if you hit B, so if you're in this one, select partition, select game. Okay, once you're done uh, selecting our partition and you're setting up all your pages and you got it the way you want, and you're here, just hit the B button, okay, and that'll bring up the main source menu. These are your six pages of all your emulators. On this system, I have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, I have Turbo Graphics, which is the PC FX. Um, I also have Final Burn Alpha, and let's go to the back. I also have, oops, one more. I also have Neo Geo, CPS 1 and 2. I have some MAME, and I also have Sega Genesis, okay? So I'll show you how to set those up since that's what I have. The rest of these, you're on your own. <laughs> but yeah, they're pretty simple. Once you get one done, they're pretty much all the same, okay? All right. So you got your channels installed, uh, or your WeFlow channel installer uh, ready to go. Uh, you got your settings, you know, for SD card, you got all that ready. So what we're gonna do is pull out the HD card, go back to the computer, and make a few changes to the configuration files for WeFlow. Uh, upload some uh, files, move some files around. I'm gonna show you how to do that. And we'll start playing games pretty soon. Also, if you wanna get out of this menu, you're like, how do I go back to the Wii menu? Uh, you hit the home button once, and then you hit it again, okay? And then you just say exit two. And then you can go to System Menu, Homebrew Channel, wherever you want. So I'm just going to go back to the System Menu. Okay, so we're back in the computer. Um, so let's start off with Final Burn Alpha. Uh, or to get everything set up for any ROM, obviously you want to go to Wii Flow. Uh, let me make these extra large icons too so you can see it. Okay, Wii Flow. Uh, there's the music folder, so you want to put mp3s, it automatically loads them up and it's automatically looped, you know, so if you want to play music while you're looking at your menu, which is always cool, okay. 
Uh, so you go to plugins. So you're in WeFlow plugins and there's configuration files. You see one here for CPS2, FBA CPS1, FB Alpha. That's our final burn alpha. Here's one for final burn alpha Neo. So each one of these files, and there's a bunch, there's some icons here too. Uh, each one of these is basically your configuration file. So uh, let's open up the configuration file for Final Burn Alpha. Um, so your display name, FB Alpha. Okay. Uh, magic is the number, is the sequence that they use to uh, keep track of them that don't mess with it basically. All right. Uh, cover folder uh, is going to be in Retro Arc. Okay. And the doll file, which is our emulator slash core slash plugin, is in RetroArc We FB Alpha Doll. Okay, so when you're running Final Burn Alpha, uh, in here, let me get back to big icons again. Okay, they already have an emulator for you, a core file right there, FB Alpha Doll. Okay, I uh, detected it as a RetroArc core. That's fine. So you can use that one, or like I did, right? Uh, under my apps, RetroArc We, right? I have my own doll file right here called Final Burn Alpha. So anyway, let's say you wanted to use your own, right? So you'd copy it out of RetroArc if you're using a doll file from there. You go back to WeFlow Plugins, okay? And let me make this a little easier to read for me. Okay, so for all of these files, these configuration files, uh, you scroll down a little bit farther uh, and you have all your doll files, right? So in this case, um, you know, it's pointed towards a RetroArch Wii folder doll file. I'm gonna just paste it in here, okay? You don't have to do this. You can use the doll files that come with, you know, um, WeFlow. I did a lot of work and customization in my doll files. Uh, so in RetroArc, and I want to reuse those in WeFlow. So anyway, so instead of RetroArc We FB Alpha, okay, because it starts under Plugins. That's your root. So what's not listed right here? Uh, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see that. What's not listed right here is this. Okay, it's not listed. It doesn't say that, but that's where it starts, okay? So because mine is in the plugins root folder, um, I can just name it alpha.doll. Ta-da! Okay. Now, uh, for cover folder, you'll notice again this has lowercase retro arc, but inside WeFlow box covers, the retro arc is uppercased. Another little nuance that drove me crazy. <laughs> anyway, so you can put all your retro arc ones in here if you want. Uh, you know, and that's that's what I did. So for Final Burn Alpha, let's make a folder called, you know, Final underscore Burn Alpha. You can make it all one word, you know. Uh, uppercase lowercase whatever just make sure that you spell it right you know okay so instead of retro arc this is going to be retro arc final burn alpha oops there we go okay and then where are the roms but my roms were under retro arc okay so it was under my uh h drive which is my sd card right um, that doesn't help. <laughs> anyway, is underneath my H drive, retro arc, ROMs. And then I had one for each uh, core, in this case, Final Burn Alpha. Okay? So it is all the way from the root, you know, from your SD root. Where is it? In this case, mine is retro arc, ROMs, Final Burn Alpha. Okay? That's a full path to my ROMs. So once you got that set, the cover folder doesn't have anything in there right now. So let's get some cover folders in there. Uh, let's do Sunset Riders, okay? Um, a lot of these folders and, uh, or box covers can be downloaded um, off of 
uh, GBA temp, they have a link. So I'll put that URL in the, uh, in the description, okay? So anyway, once you get your cover folder art downloaded, so I have a box cover folder. I have Final Burn Alpha covers. These are a whole bunch that I downloaded. Um, there it is, SS Writers. Okay, so what you want to make sure is that a PNG file, but I named it sswriters.zip, and that's because it has to match the name of the ROM. Uh, let's see if I can get to it. And here we go. And the name of the ROM is sswriters.zip. So the name of it would be sswriters.zip.png for the box cover, okay? So based on the Word document here, you said that the cover folder, uh, which is the box art, goes in RetroArch Final Burn Alpha. Okay, so let's go into the WeFlow plugin, or sorry, um, box covers. Okay, and we made a folder called RetroArch Final Burn Alpha. Cool. So let's, uh, oh, there it is. Copy that one and paste her in there. All right, so now let's go try the game and see if the box art loads up. All right, so we got our SD card back in. We're gonna launch up We Float. So we got Final Burn Alpha. Uh, I did pull my doll file from the Retro Arc. Uh, you can use the one with WeFlow. You don't have to use the one from RetroArch, but you can use whatever you want. Uh, so go ahead and hit the B button. Uh, we'll select Final Burn Alpha. Uh, and go to Select Partition. And go SD Card. And once you go SD Card, it'll look at the SD Card. And it'll look at the configuration file that you, uh, you, know, that you edited. So uh, you can select plugins if you want. I just like to go in here to make sure the FB Alpha is checked. So what it's looking for is the configuration file that has the name FB space Alpha, and that was in that configuration file. So it looks around for all the files that have that. Okay, that's how it makes this list. Anyway, so it's checked. So it sees it. Um, and we'll go back. And whoo hoo looky there, looky there. So all the ROMs are loaded, yay! <laughs> and what do you know? You got SS Riders, and let's see, we can click on it. There it is. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right. So if you hit the one and two button on your Wiimote, uh, that's how you change this view to whatever you want. Okay. So there you go. Whatever, whichever one you like. Uh, you know, everybody's different, so. All right, so let's actually test it. See if we can actually play. So go play. All right, EEPROM initialize complete. All right, hey, it sees my Wiimote controller. Woohoo! Okay, so since this is RetroArch, if I hit the home button, it goes to the RetroArch you know, menu, okay? As you can see on the bottom, it says 1.36. That's the doll file that I'm using for my retro arc emulator. I didn't want any differences or nuances. If it bugged or had an issue in one, I wanted to have an issue in the other. <laughs> so I want the same doll file used across the board. You guys can do whatever you want. Anyway, so it brings up the same menu. You know, if you're not familiar with retro arc, you know, just quit out and don't worry about it. But, uh, you know, if you are familiar with retro arc, this is the, you know, menu the settings and uh, quick menu which you know just resume game you know things like that so just hit the uh, I have mine set up so that the minus sign uh, is the one that does the coin um, you know if you have two three or four Wiimotes you can have four players running Sunset Riders I absolutely love this game um, hey come in uh, and then just hit your attack button Turn that down. Okay. So, jump, shoot, all that good stuff, right? Get my drink on. All right. So, anyway, this is Final Burn Alpha. 
Uh, pretty quick and easy to get the WeFlow set up, right? So what you want to do um, is repeat that. So what I'm going to do is do it again for one more uh, game, and then I'll do uh, with the box art, uh, and then I'll do it again for uh, Neo Geo or one of the other ROMs, and you know go from there. Okay. All right, we're back on the computer. Uh, let's see. Box covers, retro art, Final Burn Alpha. So we got Sunset Riders in there. Uh, let's go ahead and put the two turtle games in there. TMNT.zip.png and TMNT2.zip.png. We'll check those. Okay. And let's go ahead and do another ROM. Or another core, another plug-in. All right, let's go ahead and do the uh, Super Nintendo. Why not? One of the greatest systems, right? I mean, classic. Zelda, Link to the Past, Super Mario World, Mario Kart. I mean, how could you not want to play the Super Nintendo? <laughs> the game is just phenomenal. All right, so for the SNES 9X GX, go ahead and open that up. Uh, you can use Notepad or WordPad, whatever. I the reason I like WordPad is because you can kind of zoom in on the text a little bit, make it more readable. Uh, so this one uses um, mod 12. Doll file. Uh, I have played around with it versus the one that came with the Super Nintendo um, emulator, uh, and I kind of liked it. It seemed to work just as well, so I kept it just like that. I need to change it. Um, so the cover folder. SNEX 9X GX. So let's get some cover folders in there. All right. Uh, I have the zip file. Let's start extracting the SNES Shrunken Spine, which has all the cover folders. Uh, Super Nintendo games. Uh, while it's doing that, SNES 9X GX is the name of the cover folder. So let's go there and make sure that it exists. Okay. So under your H drive, WeFlow, box covers, I do not see a folder for SNES. Nope, don't see it. So we're gonna say new folder. And copy paste the name so we know we know for a fact that it matches. Okay? So it'd be SD, WeFlow, box covers, and then SNES 9X GX. So everything's gonna go in here. So the ROMs uh, for mine <coughs> are under the uh, SNEX 9X GX ROMs, and here they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into box covers, SNEX 9X, okay, because that's where we said it's going to go. And we're going to SNES because I just unzipped this. Uh, they have US, Europe, and you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter, just as long as it has the right name. <laughs> so I have uh, Super Mario Kart. So we'll go down to Super Mario Kart and we'll find it. Uh, there it is Super Mario Kart, drag and drop. So this is Super Mario Kart USA. So I copied the other name. I'm paste it in there, it looks like it already matched, dot zip, you know, because that's the full name, uh, dot png, okay? So now we have a box art in here for Super Mario Kart. Um, let's see if we can go back. So that's under SNEX 9X GX, under box covers, cool, okay? Uh, you can keep the doll file or like I did in the first one. Just point to the doll file. That's all that really matters. Okay, and then the ROM dir S 9X GX ROMs, which is the correct path. So it's SD S N E S 9X GX ROMs. There they are. So I don't need to set anything with that. So that she can just leave whatever. Uh, you know, the sound is when you click on it. I click on a game and it shows you the cover the box cover, you can change that to another AUG file. So now we'll try the SNES. Let's go back to the Wii. All right, so we got a couple things to test. We got the uh, box covers for the Terminary Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles part one and two. And we also have the um, 
uh, SNES 9X GX emulator to test uh, to make sure that that is uh, running when we got a box art for Super Mario Kart. Let's go into Super Nintendo. See how it looks. I should see, ta-da, I do see Mario Kart in the back. Very cool. Uh, we can switch up the views a little bit. And, uh, well, it is sideways. Um, there's a way you can turn it. One of the views lets you turn the uh, view of the box. Anyway, you guys can figure that out on your own. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. All right. So Super Mario Kart, uh, you can click on it and the box is sideways, <laughs> whatever. Uh, there is a, a way to flip it. Um, I'll figure that out, but I, uh, you know. Whatever. Anyway, uh, let's test it out. See if it actually plays. Okay. But that's the most important part anyway. Boxes sideways, people laugh at you, but who cares? <laughs> you got Wii Flow. Oh, yeah. So, uh, let's do a time trial. Sure, why not? Okay, so the game plays. Alright, not bad. Alright, now, when I hit the home menu, as you can tell, uh, the Wii Flow emulator by default goes to the SNEX 9X um, uh, emulator interface, not RetroArch. Uh, if you swapped it out with RetroArch like I did for the FB Alpha, Final Burn Alpha, then you would get the RetroArch menu. So whichever menu you like or whichever, you know, core file you like, um, you know, button mappings, controller, this is the basic SNES 9X uh, GX uh, emulator. So you can go back to Wii Flow, you know, or back to the game and close it out. You know, that's just how it works. So we go back to Wii Flow, okay, uh, say yes, want to cancel. Okay, so let's go back to Wii Flow. So the SNES works. All you need to do, same for Final Burn Alpha or for SNES at this point, is just add your ROMs and add your box cover. That's it. Okay. Uh, you know, and then make sure the naming is right for the box covers. And as long as it's exact, uh, it'll be fine. All right, so let's hit B and go back. Uh, we need to check Final Burn Alpha. Uh, let's see, I don't see anything. Where to go? I don't see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, I didn't put the ROMs in here. I got the box covers, but not the ROMs. <laughs> All right, let's do that, and then we'll do one more, and uh, we'll call it a day. Okay, got the H drive back in. SD card is loaded. Forgot to load the ROMs. Yeah, there's no ROMs. Box cover can't show. So I'll put the uh, the ROMs in uh, Retro Arc ROMs Final Burn Alpha. So those should load up. So let's take a look at main. So we will open this up with uh, WordPad and let's take a look. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right, so this one actually was the easiest for me, but I don't know, I've seen a lot of postings and people just seem to get so confused in main. There's a sound file, uh, cover folder is gonna be main. So let's go fix that first and make sure that it actually exists. So we flow, box covers. So we got our retro arc and S90 or SNES 9X GX, but I do not see a MAME. So let's make a folder for MAME. There we go. Okay, that part's good. Display name, that's fine. And the doll file. So we're gonna use the MAME Wii.doll. Uh, so if you are in plugins, so that's the doll file that the configuration file is pointing to. So that's the core file, your plugin. Mainweed.doll. Uh, I liked it. I thought it worked pretty good uh, in compared to the you know one that came uh, with the SDL main that Toad King came out with. So I kept it. You know, you guys can swap it and point to another one like I did in Final Burn Alpha, but I'm just gonna leave it. Uh, file types.zip and romder, you know, wherever it is. And remember that's the full path. So mine, right underneath the SD card, I do have a main folder, ROMs. So what I need to do is just get a few box covers in there and it should be good to go. So let's go back to Wii Flow. Box covers, main. Yeah, it is bone dry in there. 
Okay, under main ROMs, I have, like, for instance, I have, uh, you know, I got Aliens, I got Batman, Bat uh, Battle Atlantis, um, you know, so in, in here, you know, I got a whole bunch of uh, folder covers, just depends on which one I want. Uh, let's do Captain America and the Avengers, you know, why not? Uh, so here's Captain Event.zip, you know, .png, so let's copy that. Go into the H drive under we flow box covers and for the meme we will put this one in here. Well, okay. That's it. Let's go test out the meme and the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. See how we go. Alright, let's go back into we flow and check our final burn alpha teenage mutant ninja turtles. And then we will go check the main and make sure that one loaded up and uh, see if the ROMs work on that one as well. Straighten the camera out a little bit. B button, get out of here. Okay, final burn alpha. Okay, so in here we have, I don't see them. Hmm, okay. Sometimes if that happens, you might need to reload cache to so go to the home menu, like I did over here. Uh, you just roll over it and it pops up. So you go home menu and then you hit reload cache. Okay, and then you said B button to get out of here if you don't want to look at that. Ah, there we go, now I can see it. So there's Turtles in Time. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Part Two. Uh, B button, A button, there's Turtles in Time, the first one. Or not turtles in time, but you know, just turtles. So they play without the box cart or box cart box art covers anyway. But let's just make sure. All right, there it goes. Very cool. So it goes through its boot up tests, a couple screen checks. Here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Okay, so this one's a retro arc, you know, uh, core file. So bringing up the home menu, our home button will bring up the retro arc menu instead of the other one like the SNES. Cool. So it works, the games work. I just, you know, you can launch them without the box cover, it doesn't matter, but that's how you do the box covers and uh, reload the cache in case it doesn't show up. Okay, so now we're gonna try main and that'll be pretty much it guys. And you can post your questions if you got them. Uh, you know, it's not too hard. It's just pretty much a rinse, wash, and repeat. You know, go to the next one, CPS1, CPS2, edit the INI file. Uh, when you first go in there, you know, select SD. Um, I like to actually verify that uh, the MAME is the one that's actually selected. Oops, I passed right by it. You know, uh, or the right one is selected, in this case, MAME. So it is selected, right? And that's pretty much it. Um, so in main. Oh wait, I do see the one I did. Ha! Captain America. Yay! So here's Captain America and the Avengers. Pretty cool. Play. Let's make sure main works. Okay, so since I used the default uh, core file that came with it, if I hit the home button, what do you think is going to pop up? That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It is not going to be retro arc. It is going to be, that's right, this menu right here. This is what the main menu looks like. M-A-M-E, not main menu. Anyway, my buttons are set up for select for a credit. This is pretty much, you know, just do the exact same thing, you know, for the next INI file. Make another box art folder, you know, and, uh, you know, change it, you know, to meet, you know, where you're pointing, point it to the right ROMs. You can either keep, you know, the uh, doll file or point to your own, like I did with uh, Final Burn Alpha. Um, just depends on how you want to do it. Okay, so he's gonna get crushed. Oh, I did. I missed. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill somebody. Come here. Yeah, eat that. Can't do that to Vision. <laughs> anyway, guys, hope this helped. Um, you know, if you have any other questions, uh, just post them below. But uh, it's pretty simple once you get it going. Hope this helps somebody. Enjoy.